be a brief walk around of my uh, M416 military trailer conversion uh, for an off-road camper. So, a lot of modifications been made to the trailer. And we'll start with, we put 35 inch tires on. Used wheel spacers and adapters. So now they are the same size as what's on my Jeep. So I don't have to carry any additional spare. You can see we've got a high lift jack mounted on the side. We've got jerry can mounted horizontally right there. We've got a power box, tongue box placed on it. And we recently added the solar panels for the rooftop tent conversion. We'll go over that in more detail. Another jerry can. The top that came on this particular trailer is from the military. It's an aluminum top. I believe they use this type for carrying searchlights or something like that. I forget. Uh, but overall, it's a nice trailer. Um, put the handles on the side because military just used these little handles here to lift it up and pop it on. So we've got it mounted so it actually, when the tent's raised, it opens. We just put the uh, rooftop tent on recently and it's been a build in progress. Smitty built tent, uh, the regular one, not the XL. Um, and we have telescoping uh, tent rack. So the rack that's on there has four actuators that's run off the solar power which will raise that tent up so I can access whatever the contents of the trailer are when we go camping or wherever else we do. And then of course we have put on the back some jerry cans for water, which are pretty cool. Uh, so it's a pretty self-sufficient little trailer here. One of the things we did do, and I think this is a better look in it is we built some stabilizing jacks so this side's better so you can see they're just held in with pins and we fabricated those just from some scrap metal that we had laying around uh, so the pins make them fully adjustable up and down so you can see there's a, a pinhole about every inch or half inch so it works out really well I relocated the uh, tail lights uh, because I wanted to bring them up a little bit and place um, the license plate so it's more legal. Uh, I'm not going to try and show you the license plate specifically, but overall, very happy with this particular trailer. Um, done a lot of work on it, painted it, cleaned it up, etc., etc., um, and we'll be doing a better walk around of the build and everything associated with it in the very near future. Hope you've enjoyed this very brief uh, video. Okay, so for the rooftop tent, we built the rack and we got the components from con blah, Compact Camping Concepts. And as you can see, we ordered these nice little brackets and I think there's eight sets or something so we built our little platform and two braces underneath uh, and I offset the rack off of the trailer to give my top on the trailer clearance so on the back I extended them out what I did is I just put a piece of two inch, oh, let me go over here, maybe this side's better. Put a little piece of two inch receiver right here. Bolted that on and uh, it seems to work out pretty good. It's nice and stable. And then I'm sure you'll see that uh, we've added these linear actuators to give us a lift for the actual telescoping 
uh, rack. So it's cut right here, all the way around. It's an approximate, I could probably let that down a little bit, but uh, so it's cut right there and I've got 18 inch actuators on it, which gives it a huge lift. But I needed that to open this big top. And uh, it works out really good. So it's uh, connected to, you know, those are 12 volt regulators, excuse me, linear actuators. And uh, they run off the solar power and the battery, no, no worries. Uh, we'll kind of go over that in more detail. The rooftop tent looks good up right there. And then we also put some off-road lights. Just, you know, some LEDs to give us a little camp light if we'd opt for them or not. It's always nice to have an option. Um, everything's run off the switch down here. So we've got 120 volts with an inverter uh, right there. We've got USB connections, uh, cigarette lighter adapter. The switch is an off on, is an on off on switch. So momentary on, I can bring it down and that sound was the actuators. These are the lights. So bang, bang, the lights come on. It's all pretty cool. Ran all the wiring underneath the trailer routed it in here now when the uh, top gets excuse me when the rack gets lifted for the uh, rooftop tent we've got slack built in for the lights as well as for the solar panel cabling because it's routed over here it's a hundred watt solar panel And as you can see, that kind of works out like that. I just put some extra tape on it, made it nice and stiff. They go up and down no problem, and they don't kink or get in messed up in any way. So pretty cool. I'm liking it. I left some slack up there in case I needed it. And you can see uh, some of the brackets from Concept. <laughs> Excuse me. Compact Camping Concepts that we ordered and it was a good buy you know got all the uh, the brackets and uh, they send you a ton of bolts with them which is great and I sourced the steel locally uh, and to get the uh, telescoping telescoping part to work I just got different sizes so let's see if I can hit, hit, the, hit the item and you can see it's starting to raise up And as you can see here, we've got, um, what is this? I forget the spec on it, but it's just smaller than the other tubing, square tubing. And uh, the guys at the local steel place were really helpful. Uh, it's loose enough that it doesn't bind when you raise and lower the, uh, the rack. So it's pretty cool. That's the noise from the actuators moving up. The actuators move at about a little less than half an inch a second. So these are 18 inch lifts. So it takes about 10 seconds to raise it up. And as you can see, it's just going and going and going. And I know this isn't the best camera angle, but I'll take a step back here once I get it all in the air. Okay, so now you can see that's pretty high. So I did get the extension for the ladder for the rooftop tent. Uh, I haven't put that on just yet because just got finished wiring up all the solar and make sure everything is working, the lights, etc. Uh, but as you can see, we talked about leaving a loop for that uh, wiring for the lights. And see, it, it just goes right where it's supposed to be and stays out of the way give you a kind of a view of the bottom of the rooftop tent and how it's mounted so overall I'm really happy uh, with all the electrical working etc cetera, etc cetera. it's been really uh, 
satisfying at the very end. I mean, there's a lot of work to it to get it to where it's doing what it needs to do. Uh, but it is, it is rock solid. I'm very happy so far. I'm going to follow up here in a couple of minutes, probably do another uh, video that I'll edit in here and we'll show some more about it. But uh, once again, very happy with everything that's turned out so far. Uh, give you a better view once again and we'll kind of go from there. Oh, one thing about the solar panel, it's mounted flat for travel right now, but it does rotate. Yeah, I take these knob, that knob out and that solar panel will swing out and it can point up towards the sun. But where I've got it parked right now, it's basically facing the sun, even flat. So, uh, but it does adjust so you can put it to wherever you need to as far as pointing it, uh, getting it at an angle. I think it'll go all the way up to, uh, ooh. All right now it's 90 degrees, so, you know, it'd go up all the way flat. So if the sun was directly overhead, you could make it go all the way up, up flat or you could angle it anywhere down from there. So uh, overall pretty pleased and we'll kind of go from there. So uh, in that front box there, we have the electrical system. So Connor's gonna open that for us and it's a wiring mess in certain spots, but yeah, it contains all of our solar equipment. So, that's all hooked up and ready to go. And what that does is it feeds a couple of things over here. So, there's uh, this light switch panel. Okay. And then we've got the electrical outlet. Okay. And that's 120 volts run off the inverter. And then we've got a USB port, okay, and then a cigarette lighter adapter. And you can see the lights are on, it's all powered up, working good. Cool. Yeah. And this toggle switch right here uh, controls our telescoping, telescoping, rooftop tent. So, my lovely wife, Kana, if she would look at the camera, push that button and let's make that tent go up. It goes at about a half an inch a second, and it's an 18 inch lift. Now, that's an 18 inch lift because I needed the room to be able to open the top cover of the trailer. That's a standard army top on this M416. It used to carry a searchlight or something. And as you can see, that trailer's going, uh, excuse me, the tent is going up pretty high. Okay, so we've got the top on the trailer open and it is just packed full of stuff. So we're carrying extra jerry cans, we've got some chairs, we've got a cooler, and in some of these other boxes we have tarps, there's a ground tent, an awning, toilet, kitchen, everything we need to go camping is inside there. So trash bags, shovel, once again, just about anything you can think of. These little trailers will hold so much stuff that you're not going to know what you won't need to take or what you need to stay at home. Because they're just, you know, very, very, very useful. So, 